y'all. It's me, Nathan, right here with Dream Helper Channel. We got over here to Grand Junction, Colorado, headed out to California. <clears throat> but I wanted to come on here and talk to you a little bit about an ELD. Why I think at this time, I'm glad I got an ELD in this RV transport. As uh, all of you know that's out there that's already doing transporting RVs, you know it's been slow due to the fact of manufacturing can't get parts, can't keep up with the demand, and it's slow out there. Hey, some drivers you talk to, you say, well, you ain't slow, and this, that, and another. But uh, praise God if you're not. And, but some of us are slow. And by having an ELD, that broadens the door or the way that we can actually pull freight. So, with that being said, I'll stick the camera out the window where you can see what we're pulling because we have an ELD. Uh, you can see it right down there. I don't know how well you can see it, but you can see it. We have a flatbed cargo trailer that uh, we picked up in Niles, Michigan and taken it to California. And we have made it to Grand Junction right here with it. And it's all because we have one of these little boxes right there. See that little box? It's called an ELD, Electronic Logging Device Box. Now, what that does, it puts me on drive automatically. Let me see if you can see my log book right here. I may be out of the picture for a minute, but you can see. This green line is my drive time. I cannot edit that at all. But any of these light blue sections I can edit if I've made a mistake or, or something like that but I cannot edit that green line at all anywhere like I don't know if you may have noticed up in the top up there right here where this finger is I did some personal conveyance to get me something to eat after uh, my shift was over and uh, disconnected my trailer and went and got me something to eat around the block and came back and hooked back up and now I'm back here on my 10 hour break taking it easy I'm at the pilot here in Grand Junction Colorado so Just because you have an ELD don't mean you're strapped completely down. I don't highly recommend you disconnect from your trailers just anywhere. Uh, I got permission and did so, went and got something to eat and came right back and stayed gone a whole long time. This is not that busy of a pilot. Um, so they allowed me to do that. Don't ever disconnect from a unit because you are responsible unless you're going to take full responsibility. If that thing gets stolen, damaged while you're gone, you're still responsible. So keep that in mind. So, but you can PC on an ELD, personal conveyance, that's what it says. So if you're just getting into this and you're thinking, well, I'm, I'm just going to use my phone app, that's good too. You can do that. But just remember, it narrows your opportunity of things that you can pull or haul. Uh, if you're going to get in the flatbed division, you're automatically required to have an ELD because they haul cars and boats and that kind of stuff on the flatbed trailers. I, I'm pretty sure that the tollway 
or not tow away, but multi-haul where they haul one on the truck and tow one behind it. I'm pretty sure they required to have it because they haul cars and things back. So without an ELD, you cannot haul any other thing, any other kind of freight at all. That's DOT law. That's not the company law that you have or who you decide to go to work for. That is DOT law. And so keep that in mind. So with having an ELD, I can pull cargo trailers like I got. I can pull enclosed cargo trailers. I can pull cell phone towers. I pulled one of those down to, to a military base in California. Um, I've pulled boats. I've pulled a uh, horse trailer. Now, if a horse trailer has a living quarters, that's considered as a recreational vehicle and they'll let you get by with it. But the company you go with may not let you pull it just to be sure, just to be safe and cover you and the company. But if you want to pull any other kind of thing or haul any other kind of freight, you will have to have an ELD. Now, if you just want to pull campers, you don't need an ELD. You can run your log on your tablet, on your phone, uh, through the Keep Trucking app and, and log it that way and, and still be perfectly legal. But just remember, it, it limits you on what you can and cannot pull. If you don't have CDLs and you want to get into this business, first of all, if you're going to pull a 53-foot trailer in the flatbed division, you're going to need a CDL. Uh, if you're going to haul multi-haul, you're going to need a CDL, Class A license with air brakes. Uh, you don't have to have air brakes on your Class A license, but I highly recommend you go ahead and getting that and getting it over and done with why you are doing the CDL test. You got a general knowledge test you have to pass, an air brake test you have to pass, written. This is all written test. Uh, then if you want to do doubles, triples, hazmat, passenger endorsement, that's all different tests written tests that you have to do. Uh, now you don't have to have all that to pull campers or even pull a tractor and trailer, drive a tractor and trailer. You do have to have class A license with air brakes to drive a class A truck, which is a tractor and trailer. Um, the reason I'm telling you go ahead and get the air brakes on it is because you'll have it over and done with. Because if you don't, and you decided one day, hey, I'm gonna drive me a truck that's got air brakes and pull me a trailer that's got air brakes. Your combination vehicle that don't have air brakes on it, you would have to retake a driving test it down at the DMV. If you go ahead and do it now and get it all done and get it out of the way, you don't have to fool with it anymore. It's done. You just have to go and renew your license. Uh, ever ever how often your state requires you to renew your license. Um, I used to have it all. I dropped the hazmat because I just didn't pull any hazmat material loads. When I was driving a tractor and trailer, I drove a tractor and trailer over the road for Dark Transit, Transport America, and PAM Transportation. All that combined, I, I drove probably 15 years doing that then i drove for myself before that pulling a flatbed truck and a low boy trailer hauling drywall materials all over the country with my father in the drywall business so and that's the reason i've had my cdl license since i turned 21 years old and i'm now about to be 50. so and do the math and let you know how long I've been having experience with commercial driver's license. Uh, been working for Horizon Transport six, seven months now. And uh,
it's uh, it's been good but however it is slow in the RV thing right now and all that's due to the fact that uh, the pandemic slowed things down stuff got shut down you can't get parks park didn't get made da 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 da, -da, -da. and it's on down the road and RV salesmen kept selling sales uh, trailers which is good for us but we can't get them made fast enough where we can stay busy but it's all going to turn around I just wanted you to know that so be prepared and get ready to go to work and uh, let's go to work and let's do this let's make some money the whole purpose of having an ELD is to make money not to hinder you not to keep you keep a thumb on you but to for you to be able to make money and the company to make money that you go to work for as well i personally like the eld um, it keeps me in in intact i guess you could say or keeps my integrity up keeps me honest um and so I encourage you, as of now, if you're getting into this, go into it with an ELD. Don't go into it just doing the driver out now. However, if you don't want to pull nothing else and you're cool with just pulling RVs, all means, go into it just doing the app. Um, make yourself comfortable because you can always upgrade on down the line. But right now, I'm glad I got an ELD because I might not have had a load and I got this load that's not heavy going all the way to California, making good money off of it. All I got to do is drive this thing out there, drop it off, pick up something out there maybe if there's something out there or run a camper around out, out west for a while. Uh, if not, I'll just dead on head head on back toward Indiana, maybe get one going toward south, toward Georgia where I live. And uh, hey, make money. That's what we're all in this for anyways, to make money. And see the country, enjoy yourself. Have a good time doing this. Uh, just to give you a rundown, I've been to Florida, spent a week in Florida, went deep sea fishing, met my family there, met my family in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. Spent the weekend there, uh, had a good time, made good friends doing this That with at the motel up in Napanee at the Countryside Inn there. Hey, I highly re recommend you going there and spending your time there. That's a home away from home. Cassidy and uh, Danny there do a great job. Jason, the owner of the hotel, they do their best to keep you comfortable and pleased there at the motel and reasonable I mean you go in tell them you're a driver and you'll get a good deal on a room rate and it don't go up on the weekends just because it's Saturday and Sunday it's the same all the time that's great and uh, it's great for us great for them and uh, we appreciate it but hey that's about it for this video here and as I said earlier it's been a while since I put up one on here but i wanted to come and let you know why i think it's important for us to have elds in our vehicles and you may disagree and that's fine too but i want you to like subscribe tell somebody about us tell somebody about the dream helper channel and let them know about us if you got any good information out of this i hope it's something you could use that uh, you can go and apply into your business that you're trying to do just remember as a contractor you are the business owner you are the boss you you are it and uh, so you make the decisions if you make a bad decision you got nobody to point at but who you yourself so keep that in mind don't get upset at your driver manager or your team manager or or whatever because you made a bad decision because you and me are the decision makers. They just basically a load board for you to have a place to go 
and not have to worry about going out and looking for freight. They're out there selling freight and getting freight for us to pull. They gonna make money, you're gonna make money, whoever's getting the trailer's gonna make money when they sell it, and it's a big circle. Everybody's happy. So I encourage you, keep your head on straight, pull your hat down, reach down, pull your bootstraps up. Let's get through this slow time here with RV transporting and let's make some money. I encourage you to get an ELD or at least look into it, study it out, find out all you can about it. I hope you got something out of it here today. It just simply plugs up your truck and uh, you just tell your company what kind of truck you have they'll give you the cable and you place it up there and you link your tablet or phone to it and it goes from there simple but it does open a lot of doors it broadens the circle for you to be able to pull more freight so hey hope you enjoyed it please like and subscribe if you hadn't already hit that little bell where you'll get a notification for when we do post videos or go live or whatever but we thank you for joining and we thank you for watching the dream helper channel have a great day keep it safe until next time keep it between the white lines the ugly side down the pretty side up and we'll talk at you later